Now, speaking of new technologies, what do you get when you cross a pair of glasses with a computer? Google Glass, of course. It's one of several wearable technologies that have been creating a buzz lately. Well, one of our colleagues has been using Google Glass in her reporting, and she showed me how it works. Take a look. I'm VOA's Carolyn Persuti, and this is Google Glass. Here at VOA, we've been given glass for use in news coverage. These correspondents are hard at work producing packages with unique and different angles. This right here is Google Glass. So you wear them just like glasses. And as soon as I put them on, they turn on. All right, and this shows you exactly what I'm seeing. So I'm actually screencasting mm -hmm. on my phone. So as I go through the choices, see that tells me that I'm connected to the wireless network. So you're network. seeing something right now. I am right through this prism right here. That's the camera right there. All right, and I'm going to tell it to basically um, tape you. There we go. So I'm recording oh, wow. this segment as well. And yeah. you can see it in what's mirrored on my phone. So I see this, this lens point here. So exactly. this, the idea behind Google Glass is what? What's the purpose? Well, it's wearable technology. So if you can imagine it, it's like my iPhone is part of my head, mm. right? Mm -hmm. But I'm looking through my iPhone. If I were taping on my phone, I wouldn't be able to see you so well, right? Mm -hmm. I'd be looking into it like this, but I can literally see through the picture at mm -hmm. you. Here's what you see on glass when it first starts up. The first page says, OK Glass. Now, by simply saying that, OK Glass, see what happens? I've switched the display to a menu. You've done a number of stories using Google Glass, a number of reports. What would you identify as being some of your favorite moments and these unique capabilities that you have using this technology? Well, one of the most interesting ones that we just did was we took Google Glass on the mall and the Washington Mall, and we decided to find out what people thought and to get their impressions. So I'm recording you right now. Oh. oh. <laughs> this woman worries about Glass secretly taping her children. For every pervert in the nation to see. I wouldn't want that. There are concerns, though, about this technology because you can videotape. Just you're, you're sitting. It almost looks like you're wearing some kind of base-age, techy glasses, and you can videotape. So what are the concerns that people have about it? Absolutely. There are concerns. And in fact, when you go outside, you, w you can wear these lens, and so they look like sunglasses. Mm. So you don't really oh, know. Don't see, yeah. Right. It's very difficult to see, especially if I'm far away from you. So the concerns are I may be taping you when you don't want to be taped. Um, I may be going into an area where I shouldn't tape, and, and the person who's wearing the glasses is taping surreptitiously. Man, I think when you walk around here, you're always on camera. One of the stories that you did that was one of my favorites is you got a chance to talk to and feature the group Pentatonix, the acapella group, very talented group. They've become extremely successful on YouTube. What did you do with them? Um, I asked the lead singer to wear Google Glass. So tap it, 707, tap it. tap it. Prior to the group's Washington, D.C. concert, I went backstage to teach lead singer Scott Hoying how to use glass to record video. So Scott Hoying wore these glasses, and he introduced it, them to the audience, telling them that Voice of America had given them these glasses, and he said, I'm going to do this whole song with you all, and you're going to help me. I feel like a Star Trek character with these on. I'm really excited. <laughs> And it was fascinating to see from a performer's perspective. It's interesting because I can see a little square of the screen when I look at you. I can sort of see a reverse image of what you're seeing. And that's how when other people wear it, that's how I can tell if they are seeing anything. Mm -hmm. Especially if I don't have my smartphone with me. Mm -hmm. I, you want to try them on? Yeah, so I'd you love can see? to. Okay. Yeah. okay, great. Yeah, why not? This is my, my, my first time. <laughs> this will be my first time trying these. So let's okay. See. Obviously, I'm, I'm a new user. Okay. Swipe down. Okay. Swipe down to get out of it. Okay. okay. Did you hear I the heard whoosh? I sound, yeah. Yes. Okay, interesting. What do you think is the future of this? But I think wearable technology is going to take off in various ways. You may see cameras on your contact lenses, or you may be talking into your watch maybe mm. more. Yeah. I don't know what they're going to come up with, but um, I'm sure it's going to sort itself out probably in the next 10 years. But this is definitely the future. It's small. Yeah. It's compact. It's just one of many wearable technologies out there, and that's why we're using it at VOA. We're trying to figure out which technology works best for us to show the viewer our best stories. Oh, it's a camera. She got to do like this to it. I can see myself right there. 
such a fun story to do. I have to say that was my first time ever seeing and holding and trying on Google Glass, and I am just so grateful that Carolyn was there to take me through it. It's kind of complicated, actually. It doesn't come with a lens, right? No, no lenses unless you put them on for the sun. So it has, you can make them into shades, sunglasses. Wow. Yeah, okay. pretty cool. 